anticipated to be decision day for the superintendent of Lavernia ISD. His fate placed in the hands of the school board after a string of allegations involving inappropriate behavior. The school board was behind closed doors for about three hours tonight, but ended up adjourning without taking any action. The night team's Japhany Gray following this meeting all evening long, and she reports there were parents there both for and against the superintendent. I stand behind the superintendent that I know, the one that has sacrificed to give Lavernia the best he can. I don't think I would want my daughter whispered in her ear and rubbed on the back. I don't think it's appropriate for the leader of our district to be doing anything short of a handshake. It's the latest scandal to face Lavernia ISD. An athletic hazing scandal involving reports of sexual assault between students was exposed in 2017. In November of that year, Dr. Jose Moreno resigned as superintendent. Dr. Trent Levet took over the leadership position. These kids need stability. A they don't need a revolving door. They are still healing from the last scandal. You cannot change it up on them again. Dr. Levette was placed on paid administrative leave late last year, was later reinstated after a string of incidents. Among a list from August to November of 2018, records leaked to the defenders show allegations came out that inappropriate videos of a sexual nature popped up on Levette's YouTube account while a fellow employee was helping him troubleshoot his work computer. The latest accusation stemming from a football game in Sinton last week. A cheerleader told police that she felt a hand slide back and forth on her lower back, which made her feel uncomfortable. He was in a brisk walk the whole time, and when he walked by the girls, it was just like this. That's the whole thing we saw the whole time. If you were appalled when it happened before, you should still be appalled now because it's still happening to our kids. And if it's found true, their allegations, and you keep him, the blood is on your hands. Again, the board ended tonight's meeting with no decision made, but they did release a statement saying, in part, the Lavernia ISD Board of Trustees takes the, this very seriously as obligations to make the best choices for our students, our staff, and our school community. And this instance is no exception. With that in mind, we intend to make fully informed decisions and will not rush to judgment. As of right now, no word on when the next meeting is scheduled. In Lavernia, Daphne Gray, KSAT 12 News.